All right, we have two. Cameroon Television. Oh, hey, my brother, how are you doing? 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 Oh, good, good. Because they were dragging their heels on that. They're terrible. Milka Crump, we're working on Keisha Ewer, the Newark Anti Violence Coalition. Larry Hamm. Did anyone see Larry? Dr. Lauren Wells, I know, I saw here. Deborah Smith, has anyone seen Deborah Smith? Yes. yes. There she is, very good. Uh, Earl, uh, the street doctor. Barbara King. Donna. I don't need to say Donna Jackson, and anyone already know who she is. I'm talking about Donna. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. And Krista Topranic yes, from the New York yes, yes. Students Union is most definitely here. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, you know, we did this at the behest of the uh, student, the, the staff of the students at um, Eastside and Weekway. And I guess it's turning more into a prep rally than a, uh, an actual press conference. We'll, we'll respect the fact that, uh, well, Naomi's here, good. All right, give this to Naomi. Naomi. If you've been reading what the NTU has been putting out, um, you know what our what our position is, and you know what your numbers are. Your numbers are that 88 plus percent of you through the NTU contract survey have recommended and are strongly in favor of, of job action at this time. Yep. Exactly, very good. Um, towards that end, we've been meeting, and actually we had more, a meeting this morning with uh, several presidents of other unions that are affiliated with the North Public Schools. Uh, some of them are here right now. We also have the uh, representatives from the Utility Workers Union here in uh, solidarity with us. Tina Taylor is here with us. So that what we want is that there not be any surprise. Um, after next Tuesday, we're having a building rep meeting to make sure that all the schools get the same message that I'm going to deliver now in terms of escalating the chaos. Because we know from the lack of, you know, there should be more media here. This is the largest school district in the state. Okay, we've been under takeover for far too long. They know already the grievances that we have and other members of the state have with Cami Anderson and that nothing has been done about it. Okay, so it's to come as no surprise to them when we start announcing uh, our plans, which we're going to share with you today. Um, so this is sort of a press rally slash press conference. But, the, you know, the time has come. The time for marching in the street the time for motorcades. All of that has just rolled off of her back like water off of a duck's back. It has meant nothing. And it will continue to mean nothing. Okay? 
It's like somebody that's in the middle of a crime and they're inside your house stealing from you and two blocks down the street there's a cop car. They don't care about that cop car two, down the, two blocks down the street. They don't care about the cop car when the cop is in the house that they happen to be stealing. The NTU has decided to take job action starting next week. I know that a lot of you can wait for that. Trust me, I've been waiting since the day the chick got here. As law-abiding citizens and union members, we are required to exhaust all legal remedies to resolve our grievances. We believe that we have. The lack of response from the State Department of Education and Anderson sale of 18th Avenue School to a selected list of friends and business partners of the former Commissioner of Education, Christopher Surf, et al. goes uninvestigated. The absence of a waiver from NCLB to... Uh, in, uh, for using regional achievement centers and turning around newer schools is missing. No one has seen a copy of it. We believe that it never existed. We believe that she perpetrated a fraud on the commissioner and that he further uh, perpetrated the fraud with the Department of Education. Anderson's continuing failure to attain any significant achievement at her existing extended day, extended school year schools proves to us that she is ineffective and experienced educator. Commencing next week, and this is the meeting member we will be having with your building reps on Tuesday. Commencing next week, we will begin preparing our staff, parents, students, and community for informational picket lines, and we'll begin signing in and signing out in mass. Following that, we will cease doing any volunteer work before or after school. We will stop covering up this crime. We will stop being co-conspirators in the dismantling of publication of the state of New Jersey and the city of Newark. Anderson has anticipated $75 million debt, her continuing support for the expansion of charter schools, her complete lack of support for traditional neighborhood schools. Not once has she not to try to lobby for new schools or restoration of lost funding. She is the superintendent of Newark's charter schools. She is not our superintendent. We are forced to do this because acting in local parentis in place of the parents, right. we can no longer sit by and watch the needs of special needs children go ignored by the New Jersey Department of Education right. and the United States Education Department. Right. We, we cannot watch as children are babysat each, of the school, each day of the school year by substitutes oh, yes. or inexperienced yes. and uncertified yes. new teachers yes. struggling day in and day out in their new career without resources or mentors yes. as required by law. Meanwhile, experienced veteran teachers are cast to the waters by a superintendent who classifies them as employees without placement and uses them as scapegoats for her every failure she creates. Yes. We will, by these actions, force the moment to its crisis. We will say no, and we will escalate the chaos. We can't have it come as a surprise, though. We can't have it come as a surprise. We can't have it go from Monday to Tuesday, and then have Tuesday parents coming around saying, oh, well, where, you know, who's watching my kid? No, we can't have that. We had a similar situation where there was job actions in the past. Job actions that we were not made aware of until they were happening. And people were saying, oh, the teachers need to join that job action and strike the very next day. How do we do that to parents? How do we do that to our community? to the children, does not show up the next day. So we, that's why we are taking this, we're giving everyone fair warning. We're including the other unions. We're including the principals because we want to let them know. Sorry, at 3.05, I'm out of here. So I'm not going to be in a certain school that I walked in the other day and it was already 3.35. And these are 3.05 people. These are people that have not signed any agreement. They're there waiting for parents to pick up the kids. I said, you know what? And you're what? You're nodding your head because you do it. You're going to stop doing it. We have to reveal the chaos. And when the parents come and want to know why, you will ex explain to them why. You will educate them. You will educate them why. When we stop helping cafeteria workers bring down and put away and clean up after the breakfast program, you know what? You're a union. Fight to get your cafeteria workers their jobs back because we're not going to continue to do it. We never the custodial workers. We're not going to help you with the garbage. Yes, right. We don't care if the parents find this place a squalor. Let them find it a squalor. 
go back, fight with us, and get your custodial workers back. And stop asking our teachers to do you a solid, because it's not helping us or you. Um, there, the list of abuses is long, and there are other speakers here. Actually, we have uh, Marky Louie, new, newly re-elected Board of Education. Woo! Uh, we have uh, much more eloquent uh, speakers to continue the list of abuses, and we're going to start with Antoinette Baskerville Richardson, the Newark Advisor.